Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ryan Ponce. This is another set of macro tutorial to create a sub procedure manually and on how to call a sub procedure. So what is a sub procedure? It's a set of code that you can call upon anytime to execute. It's like a command or a list of instructions and you can create this by recording a macro or just manually typing the code. So let's go to Visual Basic Editor and add a module. You can go to Insert Module. So it starts with a sub and then your macro name. Open and close parenthesis. When you enter, it automatically adds the end sub, which is the end of your macro. So macro name um, is for a maximum of 250 characters only. Numbers and letters are acceptable, but you cannot start with a number. You can use an underscore, for example. Let's try a basic command, which is a message box. my first message box. All right, so that's how you create a macro or a sub procedure manually. But how do you call a sub procedure or how do you run it? There are a number of ways you can do it in Excel or in the Visual Basic Editor. From the Visual Basic Editor, you can go to Run, Run Sub slash User Form. On this little icon here, the Play button, you can press F5 from your keyboard. Another way is to display the immediate window and you can type in the macro name and press enter. But Excel users should not go inside the Visual Basic Editor just to run the code. So might as well run the code from Excel. You can go to Developer tab, Macros, and Run Macro. The best way for me, however, is to use a button. Now, you can search any images or Start button in Google and just put the image here like this one. I'll put it in uh, MS Paint. I'll select a button. Copy and paste. So from here, you can right click, assign macro, select your macro, and click OK. So once you click it, it displays the message box. Now you can assign a different, or I mean, you can change the assigned macro by doing the same procedure. You right click on the image, assign macro, and then just select another macro and click OK. If you want to remove the macro in that image, you can just delete this and click OK. So even if you click this, nothing will happen. So let's assign again. There you go. 
So again, for me, that's the best way of running the macro or the sub procedure. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more macro tutorials.